Hello everyone, Carlos here again. We're on keyboard shortcut number eight, which is gonna be a control one. This is my keyboard shortcut that I always use to sort of format my cells, format my numbers. So whenever I'm in a cell right here and I just press control, okay, control one, as you can see on the screen, this format cell interface is gonna open up and where is where I am gonna be applying all the formatting needed, okay? Also, you know, at the same time using my keyboard, okay? Okay, because it's very easy to navigate on that interface. Also, the other place that I use Control one a lot is, for example, let's just make a quick chart here and just throw a column, basic column chart, and make it a little bit smaller like that. Okay, perfect. Uh, just a little bit more. Okay, that way you can see the whole thing. So if I click on the on the chart and then do Control one Control holding you holding down Control and then one. Okay. This is gonna this is gonna appear, okay? Which is this sort of uh, interface that also allows me to sort of enhance the features or change the options to so I can customize my chart, okay? Uh, originally, it should be well, if you you working on Excel, it should open like this. Control one, it should open right here like this, you know, right automatically. Like if it was in this place originally, that's how it should look and should be a should be appearing but you can snap it out okay you can actually go and you can just uh you, maybe you can't see that right let me just close this okay so you can see my my left click you get yourself right here to this area uh where you have the formula and you see right there the sort of the arrows with the i mean the pointer with the arrows going up and up and down and left and right you click you left click and and then hold it down and then snap it. Once you snap it, this is a cool thing about this format or this interface is that it actually can be floating around, okay? That's kind of cool. So, and now snap it again and you can actually, you know, go here with your keyboard too and kind of check out all the, the options that you have while still using your keyboard, okay? So before we proceed, okay, uh, let's just go to the quick to agenda, okay? So you already know what it's for. But now we're gonna check out how can I navigate with my keyboard through this format cell interface, okay? For dialog box, I just call them interface. I think interface is a, sort of a, an easier name for dialog box, I don't know, it's my opinion, okay? Uh, we can take out this chart, maybe put it right here, right here, okay, perfect. So, say example, you, you have one, one, for one cell that is actually just formatted here. So maybe we want to format the one above and we press control enter. So the first thing that we can do is actually to decrease all these decimals. So once you're here, guys, see, for example, there's a couple things that you have to notice. So you have all these uh, like sort of dots, you know, around number. So that's meaning that this tab is actually sort of pre-selected. Also that the category has this uh, blue background that is also saying that it's also pre-selected. And then that the OK button has some sort of like a blue mark on around it. That's also saying that it's pre-selected. But that doesn't mean that you can't move it. So for example, now if I do with my arrow keys, actually I can move around the tabs, okay? Once you already have that. But say that you start from number and then you press tab. Oh, sorry. Okay. Then you press tab. Then I'm going to actually move from the number. All those dots are going to move from number to general. Okay. It's hard to see, but maybe you can see it right there. You know, you see those dots. Okay. And then with my arrows down, I'm going to move to that one to the category of number. Then, you know, I'm actually going to press tab and I should jump into the box where it says des decimal places. So let's do it. So see, you can see that right there, the two is highlighted. I'm gonna decrease, I want, actually I'm gonna leave it two, okay? Back up, and then I can actually just do enter, why? Because uh, it's, the okay button is already pre-selected. But you can also do this, press tab, and you will have to go around the use 1000 separator, do tab again, and you will get into this section of negative number, and if you do tab again, now look at the okay button. It has, it still has the blue, uh, blue mark, okay, or the blue circumference, and also these dots for the okay button, for the okay, um, for this button, sorry. So once you do enter, then that's it. You already customized your this cell, okay. But the thing is that with the tab keystroke, you can move around the sections of this interface. So let's just open it up, okay, and then 
we do tab and see how I'm gonna start moving around the interface. Okay, take it out. Tab. Okay. Now, if you wanted to like for so, sort of move back, you press Shift Tab. Okay. So say now I'm in the OK button, but if I do Shift Tab, I'm actually moving now to the negative number. So I'm moving backwards. Okay. So same way you can press Tab and Tab and Tab. Okay. I did it twice because we went from the OK button to the cancel button and now again it starts again at number tab on or the number tab. And actually can go to the next one and say maybe that I want a border or actually I want a fill or a border. I can do tab and move to the section of style. It's actually telling me I want this selection but maybe I want this one that is a bit thicker. Maybe I'll do tab again and actually I can say I want a color that is uh, orange and do space bar to select this one. Then tab again to select which outline or presets I want. Maybe I want the outline and then spa space bar and then I can do hit enter. And there you go guys. See, you can see that it automatically applied it. So that's kind of cool because you can move around the format cell with just, just your keyboard. Just remember that with tab, okay, or in shift tab, you move between sections or either forward with just pressing tab or shift tab to move back backwards, okay? Now, for example, the going continue with the agenda. Pretty much now we are gonna go to the how to navigate through the object format options. Meaning, how can I if I'm working with the chart here, and if I wanna do Control One, you know, automatically it doesn't like doesn't you don't move around that immediately. So the way to do it is that you have to press the function key F F6, okay, function key F6 or function key six twice. Okay, but look at this. The first time you hit it, check it out. Do you saw something that happened on the screen? Well, for example, this tab didn't have this uh, black circumference around it. It didn't. So now that's the first time you hit it. Now, the second time you hit it, it's gonna jump from that to the interface of the, the objects, okay? So, or the, in the option interface of the object. So, ooh. if I knew, if I now do F6 again, so there you go. See, now border got highlighted and now I am locating this section right here. Okay. Say that you actually want to move to another part. For example, this, the Pentagon. So you just do shift tab, shift tab again, shift tab again. And now see you now you're in this section. Say that you want to actually shift tab again and you can actually all arrow down and you can change what element do you want to get into? Okay. So you can still move around with your keyboard. Okay. Do you, you just got to press F6 twice. Let's just do it again one more time and you know, sort of end this video. So close this and then do control. Well, let's just select the chart control one and then F6 one twice. Okay. And you can see that we're here already. So tab tab. So you can see now we're here. So you can still move around with your keyboard, like I said again. And I think it's a very val very valuable keyboard shortcut because pretty much you can still work with your keyboard while working on these options, okay? I still, to be honest, I still use the mouse for this. So, but I think it's a, I think, I think it's a uh, very valuable keyboard shortcut that, you know, you should be aware of. So I'll see you in the next video for uh, number nine, which I think is gonna be about feeling, okay? Feeling either right or feeling down. See you in the next video. Thank you for watching.